What is aperture? First, aperture directly means an opening, and in photography and videography it is exactly that. A space which light passes through in a camera. It works the same way in photography and video and has two functions. Along with ISO and shutter speed, it is used to control exposure. Aperture is described in f-stop, which is a variable dependent on the lens. A smaller f-stop number means a wider aperture, and also faster. As more light enters the camera, the shutter can close faster, which is why some lenses are described as being faster than others. A higher f-stop number means a narrower aperture, here less light enters the camera. Aperture also controls the depth of field, meaning how much of the scene is in focus, in front of and behind of the area which is focused on. Having a wide aperture creates a shallower depth of field, which is great when only one area of a scene should be of interest. For example, when filming a person or doing portraits. Here though, you need to be careful when filming moving objects, as they can easily roam in and out of the focus area. A narrower aperture increases the depth of field, and more of the scene will be in focus, making it great for landscapes and moving scenes. Zoom lenses typically have a wide aperture of f3.5 to f5.6, which gets narrower further you zoom. For example, the widest aperture of a zoom lens at 100mm could be f3.5, but at 200mm on the same lens, the widest possible aperture could be f5.6. This has to do with the way the light is structured to move through the lens. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm David and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.